Hi hey friends, Boo. I'm back with another video and today I want to do a flip of my Hobonichi sneaker wigs. Um, this is some stickers from Planner Monkey Co. And you can see the pocket of the leather cover already left some stains here and there. And also you can see um, that clip I'm using. I have not changed anything in here and I cannot believe it's November so um, yeah. I'm still using everything here, the month please. That is July, August, September, October. Um, you can see in October I used a normal um, ballpoint pen, whereas usually I used um, some different pen. Uh, so then we have October. And we have December uh, and November. I'm back with the normal fine liner, and I will also flip from July. I just decided, so I went kind of crazy on colors in July. I also did this outlining thing and stickers and whatever. Um, and then I muted the colors somehow. I went with green for August. I went with the Hobonichi Weeks pen. That, no, with the Hobonichi pen that I do not really like the way it's coming off. Then I went back to the other um, pens. Then this was um, September. Then I stick with that color for whole September. As you can see, I went to this kind of layout. I kept this uh, line here. The only thing I did is I put this down. And I saw this from Bucho Planner actually and then here i did not draw the line i left it like this i did not appreciate that a lot um then here i tried to work with the zebra sarasa pen the dry one that is why i could not highlight anything because it would be smearing um that's why i also lettered this with the homonichi pen in comparison to what i did before um, because I wanted to use the Zebra Sarasa dry pen. And then here I started using the ballpoint pen. It is a very thick one. It, I think it's 0 0.7. Um, I went, I still uh, did the same thing, just that I wrote this one with the fine liner. It's kind of a graph pen. I have a whole video up on pens actually I'm using. And here I'm changing something up. I stopped this kind of Monday Tuesday thing um, and I do think it looks more clean like this and here I traveled so that was holiday I did a whole other setup I um, also stopped when did I stop I stopped in week 40 um, week 40 is the last week I had my tracker here I transferred it to my dailies that I will just uh, show in a minute so I went on without the tracker and the main reason is that I started university. Uh, so I kind of thought that when university started in this week, I kind of felt like I need to put um, university here so I can just break it down from the other tasks because here are some basic tasks sometimes. Then here I was in holiday, I did like a day one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, what we have been doing more likely like this and then the to-dos. I also used some stickers that I got off of Amazon, travel time, and let's relax. Also this one and then I was back to very busy week. So um, the holidays was not even, I was not even back for like, a week and it already got very crazy so this was a very crazy week I had a lot of things to do this was last week um, as you can see for November I went with this grayish color and I decided to use it for the whole month and this is the current week it is now currently Monday 21st um, I am sick today so I did not go to work um, and yeah, this is some kind of watercolor transfer sticker that I got new and it was before I understood the way to do it, that, that was kind of a process. So um, let me see where I can start. This was June, I think, yeah. Let me start here in July. 
Oh, so I started here. I did some goals here. And then when I do not have enough time, I put it on a sticky note. Um, and then this is basically just always the weekend and running to-do list with some um, sticky notes if needed. Then August started already. I put it goals here. I put the goals here and then I went with um, the dailies. So I kind of used some green colors here. I used the Hobonichi pen, which I did not enjoy much. You can see the difference. And then this was already September. You see here, I tried to save space because I was really afraid I'm going to run out of pages till the end of the year, which um, gladly didn't happen. But my plan is, even though you might have seen my video, I've set up the Hobonichi weeks for 2023, but I did not plan on using it before, um, before January, actually. Maybe in the last week of December or something, I would jump right in, but for now, I think I will finish this off in till December. So even though I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, then I used this kind of greenish, uh, green, yellow cover, color. And then I did some stickers from time to time. This was actually the week I used the Zebra Sarasa dry. And you know, you can see I could not um, color on top. So I kind of did another style. It is very pale, just pen and paper. I don't know, while I did it, I did not like the way it looks. Now, as I look at it, I think it kind of looks cool and I do not really, I have not decided yet what I will use for 2023. I just saw that there is a retact, retactable, is it like that? I don't know the English word, um, fountain pen on Amazon, which is uh, quite similar to the Pilot Vanishing Point. Um, but it just sells for like 50 euros, so I'm debating on maybe getting that one, but I'm not sure about ink. So if you have a, a waterproof ink in black, which doesn't smear, so you can um, highlight on top, then please let me know in the comments. That would be very helpful. Then I already calculated my, my pages and I knew that I will have space for a whole page. And... As the first one was a Saturday, I just used that page and did did Saturday and Sunday here. And then here I'm in uh, October now. And then you can see this was week 41, the first week that I put the tracker actually here. Because I realized most of the time I have some space left. Here I didn't. But here I had some space, here I had some space and I just thought I could save some space and just uh, put it here and it will maybe work out and if not I will use a sticky note so that's what I have been doing um, from here you see here I even had to use a sticky note for Sunday um, but I kept the tracker here and here it was working perfectly fine here I was in holiday I turned a little bit and I, let, I put the tracker here and then I started to put the tracker here on top for uh, November and I kind of like I'm still debating if, if I should tab out the different months so um, after I have finished the month I would just tab it here but I'm not quite sure I actually like the idea of just um, being able to see the month with the color um, here is just so visible but also in September you can see this was definitely one month you can see these are three different months but I'm not sure yet um, I'm also debating on putting monthly stickers here in the front or on the weekly um, I did not I have not decided about that yet so these are goals for November I left this page blank and I do not even know why like I thought I wanted to put something there but then I didn't and um, this is week 45 here i glued something in because i cut it out from a paper and it just kind of left some glue in the back but i think it looks cute and then this is this week i just have washi tape the important thing and then one girl sticker and yeah let's see how many pages do i still have left like let's count together how many weeks um this is the monthly so we are in this week it's set up already so one and 
I need a full page and then a goals page. So probably two, three, four, five, six. So I still need six weeks. Um, where did I leave off? Six weeks. That means one, two, three, four, five, six. And then how much do I have left? One, two, two. One, two, two pages, and then I'm done with notes. I'm there where the note starts. Notes, I do not have a lot of uh, pages left, like one, two. Um, just in my work section, I have some more left, but also not a ton. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Projects, I do not have pages left. Home section, I do not have pages left. So actually I used up almost all the pages in this whole book and I'm very proud of myself. And I have decided when I did the setup for the Hoboniti 2023 that the important information that I have here in the inbox, actually where it this year is, um, this is just goals. And then I have passwords and important things that I will now keep in a small booklet of the Hoboni two weeks that I can just tuck in the back and take it from year to year. So I can save these pages in the front. And then I have like um, the dailies and the notes. And in the notes pages, I have some collections, which I have already shown a hundred times, but I have made space for these kind of collections for um, next year in the front. So if you check my video, um, I start here with goals and collections, and then I have um, a small work and project section with just a few pages, and then a lot of dailies, and I have some home section in the back. So that is my setup because I have learned from that, and if I need to keep some notes somewhere, I still have a lot of other notebooks where I can... Um, basically write something down and I think I will also keep a second small booklet in case I have to jot down notes in the back so I will have my passwords uh, and the other booklet or maybe I will keep the booklet in the front um, so that is kind of the plan this got really even not that chunky but a little bit and yeah I'm very happy with it I'm also very happy with the setup for next year and I'm so happy I'm finally moving out of the sneaker weeks it is though more portable so it's just small and you can just throw it in a bag like that but it is also very hard to find a cover so the two covers i have is this one and the green one and they are made by whp designs custom made so he actually did it because i like it very a tight fit and he just planned it to fit this sneaker wigs yeah, so I'm excited for the new year and thank you so much for watching. Bye.